Well, good evening from Hong Kong. It's about 11 p.m. here on Tuesday evening. And I don't know, I'm going to see how well you guys can see this, but I've, um, I'm tr I've made um, a few different drawings about how I'm going to make my uh, self-contained uh, hydroponic uh, double dutch buckets uh, for the boat, for the Bigfoot here. Now, what it is, I'm, I mean, this is, I'm just kind of planning here, and this is my sketch up here, and, um, it'll probably be about five feet wide, and about two feet high, and, um, my mate Ken, um, in Florida there, he's, he's on a liveaboard down there, and he's doing a bunch of hydroponics, but, uh, again, I can't find these, uh, square buckets, uh, to go in, and um, he made a comment about uh, there's a brand of kitty litter that comes in these, and so I mean that would that's fantastic because my main goal for having the double Dutch bucket is because it's on the boat, and when we do get a typhoon, and I, I'm going to need to take these out and put these down in the lazarette. It uh, doesn't matter, you know, how high they are, because they'll probably be about, you know, five feet high. And uh, be able, need to take them and put them down in the lazarette, where I've got about six foot height. Um, so just uh, to ride the storm out and then put them back up in here, um, you know, a day or two later. So if I can get these uh, buckets, um, I can, with fiberglass, make this uh, based on that, that Beto bucket... Um, uh, concept where you've got this little reservoir that's always down here and then there's that pipe that comes out and that so then any overflow that would be in the, in the bottom here would come out and now inside this box is um, I'd have a, a container or a, a storage area here on this side and another smaller storage area there and I'd put in a um, uh, on the outside, I'd put in another airspace in an effort to try to um, eliminate direct sunlight heating this up. So again, I'm I'm going to be using a um, a hollow core. Uh, it's like a honeycomb board, and it's about a half inch thick. And so all of this is going to be fiberglass, and it'll be painted with uh, polyester urethane. And I've been guaranteed, and on their MSDS, after 48 hours, um, it should be fully cured, and it's considered food grade. So anyway, that, everything will be the polyester urethane, just like I, I paint on the boat right now. And so anyway, um, I'll have this area. So in this little storage area, I can put in a 24-volt air pump. And then on the inside of the, the reservoir itself, the nutrient um, reservoir that's below it, uh, a tw I've, I can pick up 24-volt, 300-gallon-per-hour bilge pumps and, and have those run. And I figured that um, just with the solar from, uh, from sunrise until sunset, this unit is going to be running because the solar panels are going to be producing enough power to you know run this once the sun goes down i'm using um, all my energy for the you know the storage of my batteries for running my computer and the tv and things of that nature so but having this um made this way i mean you know this is still just the sketch um i want to be able to keep it uh, like around 15 gallons for the reservoir um, I know that's not a lot, but it's just three Dutch buckets, um, and, you know, and, and to run this, because other guys are using like 20 gallons, and they've got a, a bunch, you know, of six to ten um, buckets and even more, and they're like on a 20 gallon. So having 15, because now I'm trying to keep the weight at about 120 pounds, and that, and that way I've got 120 pounds port and starboard for this. And that, because weight is an issue, because again, it's on the boat, so I got to worry about how much nutrient um, liquid I have in there, because it's eight plus pounds uh, per gallon, 
and uh, so I'm going to need you know do the mathematics on that. But now the also the other thing is is it's going to be up on the top deck, and I you know go up there and and see how they're flowering and they're doing. But for the pH and the parts per million or the um, uh, total dissolved solids TDS, uh, I've uh, been able to go to a couple factories websites um, that I found through the um, the mainland Chinese well I, I, the the communist the Bureau of Commerce, and I found some some factory websites that they make a panel outlet so it's it's no different than I would have for a battery monitor that I have on the wall but a sensor will come in here and it'll actually it'll tell me my parts per million for the total dissolved solids in it and what my pH is and it also gives me the the temperature of of the liquid so that can run down I can put that here in the salon and then I can have a control as well using, um, I don't know if you can kind of see this, uh, this is just a sketch, but for a bilge pump in any boat, um, what we have is that um, there's a float switch. So when the float switch goes up, it makes contact. And so then that's what would turn on the bilge pump. So when you know water gets high, turns it on, and then when it comes down, the circuit is open and it doesn't make the contact, and so there's no power to it. So on that same concept, when the switches, <clears throat> when the float switches up, I can run some LED lights. So I can put in like two or three floats or floats, you know, here like, you know, one, two, and three. And so when that's up, um, it'll go to an LED, and it'll actually tell me, okay, here's the full. So if this one is up, and the middle one is up, and the bottom one is up, then it's I have all three. So like 10%, 50%, and totally full. And then if I've only got these bottom two lights are on, which means, hey, I'm, I'm down to 50% fluid, you know, I need to check on that. So I, I, can, I can, you know, set up an alarm for it. So if it were ever to get to like 10% in that, which it's dangerous, and also then a, another float switch that's down here. So if the water level, level ever did get too low, it would actually turn off power to the bilge pump that's pumping up, you know, to the actual, the top Dutch bucket. And it would also turn off um, the air pump. And that, so it just, I wouldn't be wasting electricity and it would send off an alarm. So I could actually get this to be somewhat automated for me while I'm out playing and having fun and enjoying the boat and all the activities. But it'll... I'll have a small control center um, at like my computer desk up in the salon that will tell me what the, the height of the water is that's inside here, uh, tell me my pH, dissolved solids, and just everything like that, and you know, the system's on. And uh, so it's, it's, I think it'd be kind of fun just for that. So this is just the, the Dutch buckets, and this is the concept and you know being able to you know build it build the container itself just tailor made for these buckets so if i if i can get the kitty litter box um buckets and i, I mean i don't have i do have friends that have cats but um they don't use this i think it's, uh ken said it was like tidy cat or something like that but they're square and it's like 47 pounds or 27 pounds or something, but I'm going to go find that, and then after that, I can actually make this out of fiberglass by forming around it. Um, and I've I've done that before. So you're almost like like making a mold, but it's you know going to be part of this box that I'm going to make, and it'll all be that hollow core, or I call it just honeycomb board, that's designed for fiberglass. And so, but it'll be specially made just for my my boat or any boat you know like this but it'd be totally self-contained and having these little storage areas that are in here i mean i can actually put um the fertilizer and stuff so you know, like fertilizer here's here's the kind of stuff that like here's the triple 20 the 2020 20 but it it's hyponex it's it's japanese the the website here says it's a hong kong website it's a dot hk but um, 
it it's not up anymore and then I looked on this hypo nex and it comes up with the Japanese uh, web page so maybe they were bought out by a Japanese company but anyway that's that's what I'm using right now is at 202020 just to, to get started until I can find something to uh, um, make what I need but again this is just my self-contained double dutch bucket system for the boat for the Bigfoot so that this is the start and, and we'll see how it goes but just kind of wanted to put this online uh, this is what I'm going to be doing and on Thursday I can go get the honeycomb board and that and you know once I have it kind of placed together there I get the actual measurements from that um, the you know the cubic inches and all that I'll find out how much fluid will be in there and I can start to actually plan what the weight is because I figured in in the back in the back corners of supports 120 pounds it'd be just like having one person um, on each side up there and uh, and uh, a person smaller than me <laughs> um, but anyway but just figure it that's those are that'll be two people so one on port one on the starboard so keep it about 120 pounds and that, then we've got the aeroponics which um, will definitely be less because that, that's on, I'm only gonna have five gallons worth uh, the nutrient solution and um, on the on the total back um, transom area of, of the top deck I still have to design that so but this is the hydroponic type system planning and I just wanted to share that so thanks for watching guys and be good be safe and always be well we'll talk to you soon